Okay, hopefully I can record this. This is the old one I took off yesterday because I couldn't get the cylinder to go back in. So I disconnected the upper pipe up here. I couldn't get it off the back of this either. And then the problem is you, there's little clips here. You got to pull those out with some pliers or some screwdrivers and get in. Then I had all kinds of problems getting those back in those holes and getting those clips on there because they get bent easy. And that the other maybe just slightly bigger pipe or whatever. But the hardest part of this is getting the spring back on. Easy to get it off now, but when you get everything back together, the brakes back in their thing and you're putting it back on, it's kind of tricky to get that. So you want to make sure you have a picture of the spring how it goes so that you know in your mind I usually just take one side off at a time take a deep breath now going back step you may need a, a key to, to get your alloys off so if you do that that's what you're looking for some sort of key to get that off and that's usually in the glove box you need to find that if you don't have know where it is so that's about it you need a little brake pad tool a brake tool this is just takes these screws out that are up here in this place right here and then you got to slide the bolt back so you can get this off it needs to be flush if the bolt's sticking out it's going to drag on something up there so that's it for now and then once you get everything apart give it a little bit of a clean if you have some brake cleaner clean it up maybe a couple of swatches of uh of uh never see copper fees when this was distinguished weather especially in we're anywhere rough service. Okay, talking crap now. See you later.